recently brought together a group of veterans from all military branches to share their individual challenges, stories, and the special songwriters retreat in Beaver Creek, Colorado. We invited three renowned professional singer-songwriters from Nashville, Austin, to come out and help share the stories of these very unique individuals. You'll see tonight some amazing people, some amazing journeys, and the stories that they put together. Thank you. Songs have jobs, you know. Some of them are to make you roll the windows down and sing along. Some of them are to grab you by the heart and soul, make you pull the car over to the side of the road. Uh, well, we just kind of uh, just took our feelings of what we thought we felt like before going down that road and how we really wanted to feel. So we just uh, kind of just pumped ourselves up. So this song was a pump up song, and I kind of wish we had this song while we were there. <laughs> it was a little late, but it's an awesome song. It was, it was real pumped. This song can affect a lot of soldiers out there and make them get up and get ready to go out there on that dangerous mission. Thank you. Um, I was uh, literally out in the field doing uh, combat skills training um, on uh, September 11th, 10 years ago. And uh, I remember it was about 6 o'clock in the morning, um, and uh, I was lying in the prone position actually shooting, uh, shooting rounds down range uh, behind a 50 cal, and uh, we, you know, heard a blood screeching sound of a sergeant. You know, you don't hear that in the Marine Corps. You don't hear your NCOs kind of break down like that. And uh, he had a mother that was in the, in the towers. And uh, so it was uh, definitely, definitely a moment that I will never, ever forget. So I will remember you. And I will hold you closer in my heart and never let you go. And there we when it comes to invisible wounds, my partner and I, Dr. Grover Higgins, have given countless number of presentations on the issues that we're facing with today's veterans. He saw his best friend shot right next to him, and he felt like there was always something happening in front of him and behind him and on the side of him and to his friends, but even right next to him. Just the devastation around me, his friends getting hurt, you know, bombs going off front and behind you. He goes, so why wasn't it me? And then he goes, it's like I was walking in a dream. And some come home shattered, others they can stand. Makes it all sound random, makes you wonder, is there a plan? Good, like I was walking, walking through a dream. When nothing ever happened to me. I got scars, I got scars, no man can see. Tonight we have a special guide on ceremony to honor all of those servicemen and women from our past and to assure you in our newest future generations that you have our support. Jehovah Father. We desire to show our gratitude toward our soldiers, our sailors and Marines, our Air Force and our Coast Guard. Their daily sacrifice is the very definition of what makes America great. But we were determined on that day and we remain determined to fight back, to fight for freedom and all that our great country stands for. The office upon which I am about to enter so help me God. Congratulations, you are now members of the greatest military force in the world. With their help and many others, it's our hope to help continue to build solutions and develop our own Center for the Solution. 